<laughs> no, 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 really, is <laughs> New Birth is the largest land-owning black church in America. Right. And so my position to my deacons is why aren't we not raising cannabis? I'll be able to bring in black males. They're able to do it legally. Mm. I'm teaching them farming. Oh, my God. I'm helping them to enhance the ecosystem. Uh, th th this is the kind of conversation. So the black boy in Bankhead said, they grown weed at the church? Where do I join? Yes. <laughs> I'm going to stop it right there. This is um, uh, Sherelle's World um, channel. Pastor Jamal is a hot mess because for the simple fact, this man so hungry for fame and making his name great to the point that he's willing to do anything to be different. But the thing is, the Bible said, what we'll prosper a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? He's not going to just lose his soul if he don't repent and get it right. But he's also going to be accountable for the souls and the blood that is that is on his hand for leading people straight. If you don't want to preach Jesus, step down from the pulpit. You know what I'm saying? This don't make no sense. And, he, and people like him is making those that is working hard for the kingdom of God. They're being judged because of, of people like him and stuff. And this is the reason why people don't really take Jesus serious or don't take any real pastor, prophet, apostle, those that is working hard for the kingdom that is concerned about the souls that that uh that loses sleep by praying for these uh for their members and stuff there's real pastors them that really are sold out to god and stuff they're not sold out to money they're not sold out to fame but the reason why you don't see them because they're not on social media because it's not about social media they're more where they're more concerned about their ministry and the people of God that they minister to. Amen. So uh, this is what I love, Pastor Jamal, but this is going way too far. And when you see him in that video, he's trying to hold a straight face. And you know good and well, he's trying to make it look, <laughs> trying to be so serious and stuff. I, I'm just shocked of, of his expression on his face and what came out of his mouth. Because he was trying to look real serious. And you know dang well he wasn't serious. He he don't even believe what he was saying. He's just trying to see if he can, how far they're going to allow him to go. And stuff. But this is just crazy. But that's what you call a man. Oh, my goodness. Let me. That's what you call a man that have no fear of God. I will be trembling. To have a mantle of a pastor or ordained pastor and, and, and have the nerve to bring some weed. I don't care if it's medical. I don't care. But to bring it in the house of God. Did not Jesus beat the Pharisees and the people that were selling in the house? He said, you made my house a, a house of thieves. But my house shall be called a house of prayer. What is wrong with this man? <laughs> you talking about the spirit of the Antichrist. Because the spirit of the Antichrist don't have no fear of God. He mocks God. You are know saying he challenges God. And that is what is a great example of the spirit of the Antichrist. And I mean, I'm just totally disappointed of this man. Because I love doing his stuff on TikTok. I love what he preaches. But this is going too far to, to be a, a drug dealer. I don't care that it is for medical. But your job is to preach the gospel. Your job is to tell them about Jesus. You're, you, you are not supposed to bring anything like that in the house of God. Talking about it's going to cause them to join the church. 
For what? To be to be a drug drug dealer? Come on, that's just crazy to me. To teach them farming and teach them. Lord help hold my tongue, Jesus. Hold my tongue. Cause I'm trying, Jesus. I'm trying. Woo. My Lord, I got to be careful with my words. But ninja, please. Please, ninja, please. Like they don't know how to do that stuff. People already been robbed with doing stuff. Come on. You you just making an excuse. And you trying to justify by bringing it in the church. You are detoxing and defiling the church like never before. And he's going to cause death. He ain't going to be satisfied to God strike him down. This, that right there, I will, I will put up that excuse finger and tiptoe myself out the door. I would not want to be under that type of power. When you go that deep. And to bring that in the house of God. And y'all rolling. You talking about rolling the papers and stuff up. Come on now. That's crazy. <laughs> Ooh, sigh. Ooh, sigh. Lord, I couldn't be on that. I couldn't be on that leadership team because I will rebuke that man. Up and down, inside and out, twisting up, come up. Woo, baby, we would have been tumbling like Michael and Satan over Moses' body. Don't play with me. I can't do it. Now, I'm a, I'm a supporter, you know, of, of leaders and stuff because we all deal with issues. Ain't nobody perfect. But, baby, when you go that deep, I got to let you go because ain't no way I'm going to be striked down dead, dead. Playing with God like that. That's going too far. <laughs> too, 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 too far. Let the church say amen. But I just, I'm like, when I saw that title, I'm like, I know I'm not. I know I just didn't read that. Pastor Jamal to sell weed in, at the church. I'm like, I know they lying. Not, not Pastor not Pastor Jamal. My gosh, that's crazy. Ooh. Mm, 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 mm. The things that people do. This is how you know we are truly in the last days. Where their heart will grow cold. Come on. We talked about the reprobated mind. I feel like somebody just stabbed me with a dagger. I love me some Pastor Jamal, but baby, I love Jesus more. And I love his word more. And I love the house of God. You done lost your mind, bruh. Ain't no, ain't no mouth <laughs> high enough. Ain't no valley low enough to keep me away from Jesus, baby. Not including you. I'm sorry. I was with you to this. I, I got to cut you loose. I, like Jesus, like God said to to the um what to the sheep and the goat when he pointed to the goat he said depart from me you workers of iniquity for i know you not i'm gonna do just like that i ain't going to hell over you nobody i can like you but i ain't got to agree with you hallelujah thank you jesus i just want to do this video because this is crazy this is ludicrous this is oh my gosh this is crazy that's all i can say that this, <laughs> oh my gosh, he, he reminds me of Obama. Obama did everything to make his name known, to be the first person to do this, the first person. And that's exactly what he's trying to do. And he's trying to hold a straight face like, I hope these fools is taking what I'm saying. I hope I can trick them into this and stuff. I want to see how far the church world and the world will allow me to go. I want to see how far I can. You know, he just hungry. You know, and, and that when you're hungry and greedy like that, regardless what happened, you still is not going to be satisfied. And that's sad. That's to me, that's the spirit. But I, I hate, I hate that this, to hear that this man, 
desire to bring it in the house of God and then going to ex- make it uh justified or make it as excuse that this is bringing them into the house of God. And, and this is how we, boy, come on. If they fall for that, they are real stupid. If they fall for that junk, that, that's just crazy. See, this is why I love the old saints and them old mothers back then. You you couldn't even get the word sale or weed out your mouth. Them mothers be on you like white on rice. And they will pray at the altar until something happened on you. They didn't say much. They rebuke you and they went to war and fasting and praying to God got through whooping your tail. We need some praying mothers <laughs> in the church again. Where's the mothers? And he talking about his deacons. Baby, you in a Baptist church. You are not even over the deacons. The deacons supposed to be over you. In a Baptist church, the deacon boy is the one who make those decisions. So for you to have that much power over the deacons in a Baptist church, that's that right there troubles me. That troubles me. But I feel bad for those people. I feel very bad because for you to be a partaker of sin, what's the use to even gathering together in the church and talk about God if you're not going to obey? What's, what's the, I don't get it. Do we not have fear? Because grace and mercy is in our life, but God's grace and mercy don't always last forever. It, when it says forever, it just means a long time. But God does let you know. He said, lukewarm, I'll spear you out of my mouth. So it lets you know it's going to come a time where he's going to cut it off. Lord, He, because he said he gave Jezebel plenty of time to repent. That means his mercy endures forever. Means that he give you a grace period, a very long grace period, but babe, he's going to get tired. He's going to get tired to the point, okay, I'm done with you. Luke, I'm spitting you out. Since you can't decide, I'm spitting you out of my mouth. So now you can do what you want to do. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, what you call, you're not consider my child anymore. That's why he said those that he loved, he chastised. And those that's not, is considered as bastards, meaning that you are a child of Satan. But Lord, that just, that puts fear in me. I'm laughing a little bit because I'm shocked. But at the same time, it's putting the fear of God. I just, that just, the members, y'all need to run. I wouldn't get on it. I wouldn't walk in that church, not for a glass of water. Cause I'm sure God's fired just because they prospering. Don't mean nothing. It don't mean nothing because soon it's going to come. It's going to come down. If you, if you know the book of Psalms, King David talks about that, the prosperity of the wicked. When you go against God like that and his house, where you come to fellowship that's supposed to be dedicated to God and it's supposed to be a house of prayer, baby, you are enemy to God. I'm scared to be with you because we don't know when God, and I don't want to be striked down with you. Y'all better, if y'all love God, y'all better run for people like that. Quit just because they popular and famous. Don't mean nothing. Don't follow the crowd. Follow Jesus. Jesus never followed the crowd. He followed what was of God. And they followed him. Come on, he didn't have to do no compromising. He just, he spoke the true, truth. He taught, he taught them how to live in God and everything. He was an example. And they followed him. He didn't have to use no magic. He didn't have to lie to them. He just told them, the word of God from the throne of grace. He said, whatever I do, what you see me do, I do from the father. He said, I do what I see my father do. God told him what to say. God told him what to do. He knew all about the miracles before he came on this earth. He knew what he was going to be doing. He was fulfilling the prophecy of the prophets. Come on. And they followed him. That's why he was great. That's why his name is great. He didn't compromise like that. Man, this makes me, ugh. Now I'm starting to get sick in my stomach. I can't believe that stuff. 
But that's why Jesus said there's going to come a time. And that time is now. He said, well, we well, y'all must worship him in spirit and in truth. Because why? We are really the original church. The building is just a place where we go in fellowship in. But Jesus said it's going to come a time. It's going to come a time when those things is going to pass and we're going to have to learn to worship him from within, from within our hearts, our, our mind and soul. Amen. So, so God is exposing what is God is exposing so bad that, you know, now, you know, who is real and who is not for God. So now we have no excuse. We have to choose which side we're going to be on. As Joshua said in in, uh, in the book of Joshua, he was telling the people, look, if you don't want to serve God, then just say it. He said, you ain't got to serve God if you don't want to. He said, go back to your pagan. He said, but as for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. So go on your merry way. Don't complain. Just do it. He said, but as for me and my house, we're going to, yeah, we're going to continue to serve God. This this is this is crazy. I feel like King Saul ain't nothing new under the sun. <laughs> dang. You might as well just sit back, grab some popcorn, juice, or whatever you drink, and just watch the entertainment. But don't be a part of the entertainment. <laughs> Ooh, Lord. Mm, 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 mm. I can't believe that. Wants to say. <laughs> Ooh, you talk about a con artist. That's what you call. And even the Bible said, even the elect, meaning us, the believers, those that is faithful, even sometimes they going to be fooled. It's, the, the people is going to be so crafty, more crafty than ever in the last days. So, so much uh, wicked and deceiving that is even going to deceive some of the elect. Man, the Bible is, is, is just revealing more and more. And I'm just in awe. <laughs> and every time I see it, it makes me want to back up even the more and get right back and go, oh, no. You, yeah, yeah, you go ahead and say you want to. I'm going to step out. And I'm going to go over there to church or I'm getting on the internet. I'm going to find some other place to worship, but uh -uh. I love you, but peace induces. I ain't going to hell with you. And I definitely ain't going to mock God with you. <laughs> Anywho. All right. I just want to do this video. This is sickening, y'all. This is sickening. So much sickening. So, but anywho. Anywho, all right, I love y'all. Have a good night. Please like, share this, this video if you like to, but also leave a comment because I want to know what y'all thoughts on this. This is crazy. I need to know y'all thoughts. So can y'all please leave a comment? All right, God bless you. I love y'all and talk to you later.